Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm Danny and it's been a long time coming. This is Project Fern and we've got a brand new video for you today. I don't know if you guys have been keeping up to date with my videos or you just watch them randomly but the unit is now gone pretty much all the cars have gone all I've got left now is the silver Bolingo multi-space which I'm going to be doing a video on too I've got water and video to do on that and then the service video and take you through what that needs doing because that is a cat and write off and I've got this the Peugeot 206 GTI uh, this is the 140 I'm going to do my usual big laps big speeches on it and everything like that in a minute um, I just want to thank everyone for the patience if you stuck around and stay, stayed subscribed um, I have got another car I've got my eye on which hopefully I can get my hands on that's going to be a bit of a rugged project it's more of a car for the dog um, but let's get stuck into the video today get whipped outside it's a bit blustery out there but hopefully it won't interfere with the microphone too much but let's have a look at this car that I bought I'm sorry about the weird angle the cars are it's on a bit of a gradient here but it's the only place I could find to do this quick video today so the car's been in storage and sawn for five years and um, the previous owner has owned it since 2003 and it's covered just under 85,000 miles a massive thanks to Stephen for selling it to me and also a massive thanks for looking after it for the past 19 years I've managed to get hold of three original brochures for the car um, like a specific um, GTI one and then two range brochures from 1999 and 2000 which is where I've got all my information from for today's video before it was stored it had the cam belt done it also had a new rear axle put on it and it also had the water pump done which is great it's got full service history four previous owners i've got all the books manuals along with an original touch-up pen i've also got the peugeot boxed uh, locking wheel nut keys and the original nuts that came off it as well i don't know if you can see in the video here i don't know if it's had rear quarters or it's just the way the sun's hitting the car but it does look a, a slight different colour I don't know if the paint's just faded differently it's a straight up car, it's not been in any accidents or anything like that um, I just think the paint's faded over time I went down to Gloucestershire to get this car um, horrible journey I think it took about 9 hours in total um, I just went down, bought it and then got a recovery driver to come and pick it up and that's super expensive now I think about three and a half hundred pound but i'm not bothered i just really wanted this car because it's pretty unique and it's got quite a few extras on it the car needs an mot stephen put it in for two pre mot's and they knocked it for a near side front lower arm and they also knocked it for a sticking rear caliper which i can hear uh, the thrust bearing or release bearing in the gearbox is noisy as well um, i hope it's that anyway i hope it's not the gearbox but that's a quick loop walk round let's have a closer look at it so this colour is called Fire Dance, it's orange, the touch-up pen does say tangerine um, but it is a really nice colour, I don't know if you can see there the difference between the door and the rear quarter I think that might just be how it's been stored in the sun As you can see we've got lack of peel on the car We've got a little bit of surface rust and bubbling here which is nothing I pulled them um, wheel liners off and it's perfect underneath and then we've got bit of lack of peel here and on the spoiler I think I'm just going to literally get this car resprayed it's worth it and it'll look amazing when it's done it came comes with 16 inch they're called Oregon alloy wheels I think these came on the 206 cc as well it's got Toyo proxies on it uh, they've got front and rear discs the front are drilled and grooved the GTI came with black door mirrors it's also got an aluminium fuel cap which leads to a 50 litre fuel tank it lists in the uh, brochure it's got a sports how do they say sport, roof, sports roof mounted aerial so that just looks like a standard placed aerial to me it's got rain sensing front wipers which is a nice little extra it's got an alarm and the car I don't know if you've noticed because I've done about 10 laps of it is fitted with the sports Peugeot pack so there were three levels to that this is level three which were 499 pounds option in the book 
which are the colour coded wheel arch extensions, uh, the rear spoiler on the back, which I think really sets this car off, the front grills, and it also lifts a boot tray, but I, I, I see that's probably been taken out. It's not there. I've not had a proper look, but we'll have a look when we get in the boot of the car now. Car comes with remote central locking. I've got two original remote central locking keys for it, which are pretty retro looking. It's got factory tinted glass, even though you can't properly make it out. And I don't know if you'll agree with me, but it's got an, it looks absolutely mint. It's got an amazing cat back exhaust, which sounds really nice, not chabby or anything like that. Hopefully soon I can get this to Jeff place and just get it up on ramp and have a real good look at it and see what it looks like underneath. But that's pretty much an exterior walk round of the car. Let's get inside now and have a look in there. We've got a clicky door strap, check strap, whatever you want to call it, which needs replacing. That's going to drive me insane. So this car has got the GTI 180 interior in it. I'll just pull the seat forward. He's put the rears in the back. I've got the original interior for this car. I've just got the backs to swap out. These early models didn't come with headrests. Um, they did from about 2001, 2002. Someone will probably know the exact date. Uh, but I can see in the, the later brochure I've got, they do have headrests, whereas this car doesn't. But the GT i 180 seats does have headrests. I've got all that. And it'll look a lot better in here once them seats go in. The original seats were called Zagros seats and they were leather and Alcantara. But I just think this looks a lot nicer. A little bit of wear on the bolster here, which can be re-dyed. And I think you can shave these back um, and take all the bobbles off. We've got five speed manual with the all our gear knob. Um, there is a modification that's been done to this um, to stop the gear linkage going sloppy. Um, I had a Peugeot 206, you might have seen a picture of that the other day and the gear stick were all over the show where this is really tight. We've got the drill pedals down there as well. Gauges are really nice, we've got engine temperature which is sitting nice there at 90 and we've also got engine oil temperature as well which is nice you don't see that much on these cars on sorry modern cars we've got 84,734 miles we've got digital air conditioning um, not sure that's working but it'll probably just be a regas maybe some seals have gone somewhere uh, they've paid to have the CD player put in this car they're supposed to be a six disc changer but I can't see that in the boot we've got electric and heated door mirrors which is nice and apparently both sun visors have mirrors that's very nice because in the other Citroëns and Peugeots I've had there's only one on the passenger side but I'll just give you a sweep in the interior now I'll just zoom out so you can see what it's looking like in here this car's silent I don't know if you can hear it ticking away but it sounds absolutely amazing I'll just give it a rev in a bit before the video ends but that's pretty much the cockpit of the car lovely steering wheel needs a bit of a repair on it but i think you'll agree it looks absolutely lovely as i said earlier in the video this is the gti with a two litre 137 brake horsepower engine they refer to this as the 140 and they also did a 180. i've not driven it properly yet until today um, i've just temporarily insured it which has gone through the roof 62 quid to insure this for literally a 10 minute video which is a joke um, the max speed on these cars was 131 miles per hour with a 0 to 62 miles per hour speed of 8.4 seconds. Fuel consumption, they said in the uh, brochure, was combined 45.6 miles per gallon. But we all know how much they lie about them and we'll see what the proper figures are once I get it on the road. 12 month tax on this car is £295 and I'll let you know how much the insurance is um, when I insure it properly, when I get the MOT on it. The car's got amazing service history after being stored for five years and like I said previously it's had the water pump time belt dump and stuff but I think it might be worth just getting it all done again just for peace of mind and then we fully know that it's um, bulletproof really it's nicely uh, compact so accessible there as well so that's under the bonnet and a bit of tech spec on the car them are the front grills I don't know if I mentioned them when I was talking about the styling pack there's also got on on the bonnet here but let's have a quick look in the boot we're in the boot now Stephen had bought some brand new number plates for it before he sold it me and he's had it serviced with Castrol Magnatech I don't know if that strap there is where the CD changer sat or whether this one had one 
does smell a little bit damp in here there might be a water ingress somewhere through one of the light gaskets but I think you'll agree with me as I keep saying this car's mint it's going to be a really good project and a real fun one you see the genuine Persia under the spoiler there so that's a quick look at my new Peugeot 206 GTI I hope you like it if you do make sure you hit that subscribe button hit the like button and any comments if you used to own one of these if you like this car and think it's rubbish put them down in the comment section below and i'll see you in the next video i'm just going to give it a bit of a rev, rev now so you can hear what the exhaust sounds like and yeah look forward to this one should be a fun easiest project but i always say that they turn into a nightmare it's going to be different doing it on the cold floor rather than in a nice unit but we're back to basics back to how the channel started and i'm looking forward to it so take care people and i'll see you in the next video